Hello, this is Scott. I appreciate you joining my YouTube channel. Um, right now, I'm doing a series on commercial um, as well as open source platforms. Today, we're talking about an open source platform called R, um, and specifically time series forecasting. We're going to be talking a little bit about ARIMA, uh, seasonal and second order differencing. This this is uh, part of a, of a longer series. In fact, my opening comments are going to be going back to R20, where we talked about this data set. This is part of the library available by Hyman, this FPP2 um, package in R. And we have this data set, GOOG200. So if I um, uh, execute that, by the way, if you're familiar with RStudio, if you want to execute a single line, if you hold the control key down and hit enter, it's a shortcut, and you can uh, uh, plot things and, and, and execute a single or even a, a combination of, of commands all together. So I just executed this plot of the series, and you can see in the lower right-hand um, case, I believe this is Google uh, stock prices over time. And we were talking in R20, Arima, uh, we were talking about uh, stationary time series and uh, the fact that this original Google series is non-stationary. Um, we have this big, uh, uh, this big jump uh, at a point in time. Uh, so we've had information come in that's shocked the series and we've got a, a big um, integrate. <laughs> I'm looking for the right term. Uh, there's there's actually a term for this in in my mind, um, but if I want to um, I'll just even auto plot that, uh, make it a little bit prettier, um, then interrupted time series. That's what I was <laughs> that was one of those trying to. This is an interrupted time series because we have a time series going along, and then some something shocks the system. Information was given or whatever. Stock price jumps on that day because of that information that was given. Finally. Um, anyway, so I'd auto plot as well. Um, let me auto plot the autocorrelation function, and not surprisingly, we're going to see that sure enough, this, this series um, is uh, dampening uh, down. Um, not not surprisingly, we have uh, correlations, uh, and this is this is non-stationary. And if I wanted to test that, I could actually uh, test it for um, uh, white noise using the box young statistics. So that's what I'm going to do here. The box doc dot test is the command I'm using on this series, um, and the type is the box young uh, statistic. So if I execute that, I get here that the um, uh, p value very very small you know zero 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 uh, e to the minus 16 so with almost any significance level any level of alpha I'm going to reject that the null here is going to be that um, it's the it's we have independence that it's non correlated um, time series I'm familiar with the bo uh, box young or uh, portmanteau um, uh, tests um, then I, uh, then you see that. So, um, again, the null there is that the, um, uh, time series is, um, uh, independent. Obviously we're going to reject the null, therefore conclude that the series is non-independent. So what if I do a simple difference, right? This is again from, from R20, this is taking the difference between T T minus one, um, basically take, differencing every period one back, uh, uh, first order uh, difference here is what we call it. So if I execute that and then plot out the, the values here, you see in the, lo the lower right, and then I can actually plot that series. So there is the same data as the Google stock prices, except that I have this big jump. This is the, the point here, if you can see my cursor, um, where things are changing. And then if I test this series for independence, 
um, I would fail to reject. So I can assume that this series is, is independent. All right, so now let's jump into what we call seasonal differencing here. So uh, another word for season, seasonal differencing is um, also lag M differencing, right? So, so I can take create any any lag difference, and I'm using this A10 data set that's available in this library. This is the anti-diabetic um, data that we've talked about before. Um, I'm going to execute this series of commands again with a Control Enter to execute that, and I'm going to get the original uh, series here on top of sales values um, here, right? So that is the original A10 value that I'm expressing here, sales in millions of dollars. The second um, chart that I'm getting is the monthly log sales. I'm creating that right here um, with this monthly log sales is equal to log of, of A10. And then last, I'm going to take a difference, and I'm going to make this, this M12 here, so lag M or lag 12. So I'm differencing the this, this seasonal differences. In other words, July to July, August to August, um, September to prior September, et cetera. And I'm creating that. And then once I plot that, I have um, these values here. And so you can see, and this, this looks somewhat stationary, um, and there are tests that we're going to be talking about soon that we can test these differences. By the way, just to, to let you know, so we were talking about the Box Young um, statistic. Again, that's to, uh, to see if we have white noise. We talked a little bit about white noise in R21, um, and that's where we have no correlation back for, for the previous lags. Um, whatever order that is, I think it's like 20 or something with this particular test statistic. Um, but we are going to be talking in future, um, probably next time, about some of the other tests that can be run to, to test that. Um, we're going to talk about be talking about unit root test, um, the KPSS uh, test, as well as the augmented Dickey Fuller. Um, so. Uh, keep an eye out for the upcoming series. The last thing that I want to do is I want to show you how to that that you can do this real this panel plots real easily with uh, double difference, right? So I'm here. I'm going to take a difference like we did before diff of the log of um, the data. This is kill. This again is Australia kilowatt hours. Um, actually. Well, I know it's kilowatt hours. I know it's um, electricity usage. And I'd, have to, I'd have to look back for a reference of exactly where. But anyway, here I'm, I'm creating this again, this um, difference of log. And then here I'm going to create a double difference, right? So I am taking a difference of the difference. And I'm going to execute that. And then I'm going to plot that. So what does that look like? I, um, execute that, then I get the original series. This is uh, billion kilowatt hours. This is the log of that, so I've reduced the variability across time of that series, taking some of the header capacity out of it. And then I'm taking the uh, uh, seasonal differencing here, right? So this is my first difference. And this is my second, the, the bottom panel is my second difference. I'm taking a second order. Um, difference. So this is seasonal. Again, this is lag M of 12. And then I'm taking that data, I'm lagging it a second time, one back um, for that. And we'll, sh we'll see next time how we can create some uh, test statistics to test uh, out whether we need to uh, difference a series multiple times. So I appreciate you joining this time. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.